We're back with another episode of Go Bold, brought to you by Revlon. Today, we're with filmmaker and activist Mary Jordan on a scavenger hunt around the city to make the boldest competitor win. Welcome once again to Go Bold. We're here on location at Pier 66 at Hudson River Parkway. Our mentor provocateur du jour is a documentary filmmaker whose cross-cultural trailblazing just might change the world. Hi, my name is Mary Jordan. I am a filmmaker and documentarian and I'm an active activist. The Water Tank Project is a large-scale public art project to galvanize awareness on the global water issue because one in six people do not have access to clean water. I don't listen to naysayers because no always means a yes. I think it's really important to wake people up, shake them up. And I think that the only way they're gonna do it is you have to be provocative, political, and let people know that you're not gonna quit, that you're not gonna stop. And then they become responsive because they know you're just not gonna go away. Ladies, I'm so excited to introduce to you award-winning filmmaker, artist, and activist, Mary Jordan. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Mary. I understand you have a challenge for us. I certainly do. A really good challenge for these ladies. There are over 17,000 water tanks on the New York skyline. Wow. And I myself got on my Vespa and scouted many of them. So today, you girls are going to scout them for me. Your challenge is to see who can take a picture with the most water towers in one photo. You'll have one hour to scour the city and return to this spot with your best photo. When time is up, Mary and I will meet you back here to see what you found. I hope you have on your Color Stay eyeliner today because Revlon wants you to use your eyes in a bold new way. Get your walking shoes on and your cameras <laughs> Let's ready. And Let's ready. get moving and let's go bold. So our challenge, because it's more than a challenge to me, sounds easier than what it probably is going to be. I think it's going to be interesting to find these and find a way to really capture as many of them as possible. My strategy for today's challenge, I'm still thinking. I got the momentum going. I'm, I'm gonna use that to my advantage and I'm gonna run with that. I actually rode my skateboard here today. I know it's gonna be an adventure and I love adventure, so I am ready. My game plan strategy is to go to one of the hottest rooftops in New York City. So it's on 27th and 5th. We're on 12th and 27th. Let's hope I make it in time. Water towers are on rooftops. What's the best place to go? A rooftop bar. I'll be able to get access and maybe a drink to cheers myself when I win. There is no greater feeling than like just boarding through Manhattan and like going through cars and doing things you're not supposed to. <laughs> I'm gonna make a call. Maybe they'll just give us permission. And then we can head over there instead of running around like a maniac. Hello? Hi, I was just wondering if you guys were open. I think we could hit up this Highline Park first and see if there's any really good below aerial views. This is great. Let's keep it moving. I have one spot in mind that I would like to go to, and it's the Empire State Building. She want to get in fast, and I try to tell her one eleven for the expense. I don't have one hundred and eleven dollars. Okay, so what's another building that's really tall that I can get into for free? Where else is there? fastest I've walked in my entire life. So they wouldn't let me up there. I should have just lied and ran up the elevator, so in New York. I'm gonna run upstairs and I'm hopefully gonna get this water tower shot and it's gonna be magnificent for the win. I don't think there's any rooftop access close unless we take a cab. They came to my apartment building in Chelsea, but they wouldn't let me go to the roof, so 
I have my doorman. I just gave him my phone. I said, if you can do a panna, do it. Got my shot. Fingers crossed so we can get three in a row. Aha. Wait a second. Aha, maybe if I stand on this thing. Woo! So many water towers. I'm gonna win. 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 Right, sorry. I'm coming down. The risk you have to take. <laughs> Hi, ladies. We're back. Hi. What did you find was the key to getting the best view of the towers? Christina? Well, I took two strategies. Um, one was to try to get a really good, low local views. I also just tried to roll the dice and take a risk and go to a higher level, mm -hmm. but didn't find it as successful. Awesome. Jayla? I actually went high. <laughs> I went to a rooftop uh -huh. um, and I looked for the highest point of the building mm -hmm. and I just got really lucky to look down and there were just water towers everywhere. Mm. Awesome. Bridget? I had tried to go to the Empire State Building and it was like going to cost a fortune to get to the top really fast. So then I just went to my house, <laughs> which I should have done in the beginning. I couldn't go to the roof of my building, so I had asked the guy that works in my lobby to do it for me and I had given him my iPhone and my camera and he took all the photos with my iPhone. Bridget, you had to take it with the digital camera we provided and not with your phones because we wanted to keep it fair. There's apps that can give you a better view. You disqualified Bridget. So you weren't paying attention and didn't get the rules and you delegated to someone who basically screwed it up for you. So your lesson is that you should be really careful who you delegate to and that you need to listen better. These are life lessons, not to shame you. We're not into shaming anybody here. But have you learned your lesson? Uh, yeah. I'll just keep learning and winning by learning. Winning by learning, that's a great attitude. But listen next time, okay? Got it. <laughs> Alrighty. Mary, who got the most water towers in one photo? Now it's between Jayla and Christina. Jayla's photo. Yay! Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> this is the third challenge in a row yeah! that Jayla has wow. won. Oh, so close. Now, now, Bridget, how do you feel? I feel great. I'm happy for her. Thank you. Good for her. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I would be upset. Are you, are you, are you here to win? I'm, upset. Bridget? I'm here to win $10,000. That was so close. So you, so you think you're gonna win the way things are going now? Even if I don't win these challenges, that doesn't mean that I'm like any less of a competitor. Congratulations, Jayla. You've won a trapeze lesson to get a new view of the city. Yay! I've been dying to do that. Three in a row feels amazing. Woohoo! Team Jayla, we did it. One more win. I'm definitely disappointed because I feel like I tried really hard and I had a lot of different strategies. I have a, an amicable, humble spirit. If somebody wins, they win. And you know, Jayla, Congratulations for winning the three so far. But there's definitely so many more challenges to go and I'm gonna keep trying. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna try to focus and do the things that I've learned from the previous challenges, which would be focus and pay attention to detail. <laughs> um, I seem to kind of run into the same problem, so obviously it's something I need to work on. Now I want to hear from you. Who do you feel should be crowned the new provocateur and why? Go blaze your own trail and go bold.